Welcome back. It's Monday the 13th of February and it's 10 minutes to 7 a.m. here in the UK. Um, just looking through at today and potential opportunities um, on what we should be expecting. We can see that from a fundamental news release point of view, there is really nothing much um, expected for today, Monday the, the 13th. The only information to, to really think about, not with a major effect, is the German WPI. Yeah, which is really changing the price of goods sold by wholesalers. Wholesale pr price index in January was 1.2%. So positive, came out positive in January. Um, but again, the forecasted to be at uh, 0.3, previous was 1.2. So let's see how much that is an impact today. And the other one will be at 9.45, the New Zealand dollar. And that is the food price index for New Zealand. So this is about changing price of food and food services purchased by, by households. Again, not much of an impact on the currency pair, but um, yeah, nothing much from that front. Right, if we go to the charts, uh, yeah, this was uh, me running a test on one of my systems, um, and that was um, a 250% return from January 2015 to date. So started off at um, January 2015, just under 700 pounds, 700 dollars, and finished off 9th of Feb this year, and it's at um, 2,700. So not not a bad system. I'm working on this, testing it right now for testing it in in the markets. Let's see how that turns out this year. Okay, straight to it. On the ER exchange breakout system, we have two potential opportunities, Euro AUD and Euro card. Euro AUD, we have seen price make two consecutive days of bearish um, price action. And that could continue today up to the major level of support, which is about 60, 67, 66, 67 pips from, from current um, Asian session low. Or you can make a reversal to the upside, 20, 24 pips to the daily pivot, to that round number is 37, and to the weekly pivot is about 50 pips. So there are opportunities on both, both sides. Um, currently, the ATR today's range is currently 36 37 percent of the average true range, which is about 89 pips. Um, so, yeah, let's see what that what that delivers today. And Eurocard, Eurocard is usually very volatile and returns huge pips on this system. Now, price is currently just above that level of support, 1.3896, yeah, and that round number, 1.3900. So, for price to continue to move down, it has to break these two levels here and make a push to the downside, which is possible. Or price can come up against the daily pivot and get hit at the at the weekly pivot. So there's potential on um, on both ways. And Monday usually is a, is a slow start of the week, but let's see uh, what price delivers to us today. On the 5TT candle reversal system, nothing really to. Um, to look at today, no opportunities, no signals have been um, have been set up yet, and so not much happening in the market today. But um, 
you will see at the end of the session how these two how the two trades turn out on the ER exchange breakout system okay for more information please visit our site our website at five talentstrader.com or you can send us a direct email again from the website uh, with any questions all right see you guys soon have a great trading day cheers hi good evening and welcome to this evening review of um, what price has done all through the day and to start with we will look at the ER exchange breakout system and this morning we saw that we had two potential opportunities on the euro AUD and euro card and as we can see price made an attempt to break the Asian session high hit the daily pivot and got pushed back by the daily pivot and found his way um, back down so that's where the profit was made 39 so the buy trade if taken at that point would have um, become a loss of about 40 pips but the sell trade ended in profit at 53 pips right and so that's it for the euro card so the sell sell trade covered the loss on the buy trade and it's um, a net positive trade and so if we go to Euro AUD not much of a movement today on the Euro AUD but a slight move up to the upside if you notice again price got to the daily pivot and made it a turn back to the um, to the downside so the entry would have been that's about here and yeah that would have just been a scratch trade plus or minus not much happened on this and we can see clearly that it only made 65 percent of his ATR today so not a lot of movement on the Euro AUD today on the 5TT candle reversal system there wasn't much happening today um, but I would like love to show you this on the angry bear system where we had an entry there entry signal there for a short on the Euro USD and this is currently at about 41 pips um, so not a bad not a bad one for this um, the angry bear system is traded on four currency pairs the euro usd gbp usd euro jpy gbp jpy so if we check the gbp usd that would have been an entry there stop loss wasn't hit um, stop loss would have moved to this point here and would have been taken out there so very very um, about five pips um, loss on that one the euro JPY the entry should there was a signal there but didn't didn't get triggered and didn't get triggered for the rest of the day because price only crossed this at four o'clock the trade the rule of the trading system is um, anytime between 6 a.m and um, 12 12 noon between 11 and 12 noon so that won't have been an entry and then gbp jpy again that was um a setup but never got filled in so yeah today wasn't really not much happened in the market today but um it was cool to see the angry bear on the euro usd it deliver some amazing results um and you can see it on on this account here and um, so this is a, a real trade um for four micro lots and the stop loss is currently just there 
trades and profit and these accounts as well you can see that's 44 mini lots again that was a that's a clean trade stop loss moved and this is a is a demo account but um we turned 13.89 lots and same thing again happened on here so yes it's um it um, turned out to be an awesome trade on the angry bear indicator so great day great day all right have a good evening and see you in the morning Cheers.